Hi, everyone. I'm presenting our work on uh, reinforcement learning for dextrose manipulation. So multi-finger hands are among the most versatile manipulators and allow for a wide variety of interesting tasks, including in-hand manipulation and tool usage. However, this versatility comes at the price of high-dimensional observation and action spaces and complex contact patterns, which makes modeling and subsequent controller synthesis particularly challenging. Reinforcement learning provides a generic and model agnostic approach to synthesize controllers. Recently, DeepRL has demonstrated impressive results on a variety of locomotion and holon manipulation tasks, predominantly in simulation. Prohibitively large number of required samples and safety considerations prevent the direct use of reinforcement learning on hardware. Our goal is to reduce the sample inefficiency so that reinforcement learning can be used for real-world learning of diverse skills, and in particular, we focus on dexterous manipulation in this work. To this end, our first contribution is to set up a diverse suite of tasks with the 24 degree of freedom at right hand. Uh, what we see over here are the final train policies, and the talk is essentially about how to get here. So these tasks kind of bring about different challenges for reinforcement learning, such as exploration and functional approximation, and the agent has to carefully coordinate all the hand joints to manipulate the object of interest and complete the task. So let's first uh, observe what happens if we run uh, existing reinforcement learning methods on these hand tasks. Uh, we find that some algorithms, such as natural policy gradient and its variants, are indeed able to make some progress on these tasks after substantial reward shaping. Unsurprisingly, they still require hundreds of robot hours and hence are not very practical. Furthermore, the quality of motions are not entirely satisfactory, and the agent often employs idiosyncratic solution strategies as observed over here. So the primary challenge with uh, sort of reinforcement learning uh, with regard to sample efficiency is exploration. So in order to circumvent that problem, we collect a small number of human demonstration data using the Mujoko virtual reality setup. We note that straightforward imitation learning methods, such as behavior cloning, are not able to quite succeed on the hand tasks due to covariate shift and high dimensional uh, observation and action spaces. Uh, of course, collecting a large number of demonstrations could alleviate these difficulties to some extent, but it's not a very practical and scalable approach since collecting demonstrations is often difficult. So, so far, we have seen that both pure reinforcement learning as well as pure imitation learning methods don't quite succeed on these hand tasks. So what we in some sense require is to combine the generalization and autonomous learning capabilities of reinforcement learning with the small number of human demonstration to circumvent the exploration challenge. Our minimalist approach for this which we call demo augmented policy gradients, constructs a surrogate function for the policy as an additive combination of the reinforcement learning surrogate and the behavior cloning surrogate. Subsequently, we perform natural gradient ascent on this composite objective function. Furthermore, we anneal away the behavior cloning surrogate over iterations so that ultimately we solve for the reinforcement learning problem and optimize on the task reward measure. So uh, our DAPG algorithm is shown on the top left corner over here. Uh, what we observe is that the DAPG algorithm, when seeded with just 25 human demonstrations, is able to solve all the hand tasks that we consider in about five to six robot hours, which is orders of magnitude more efficient than pure reinforcement learning from scratch. We observe a number of additional benefits when using the DAPG algorithm as well. Uh, the, the quality of motions generator are substantially better and are more human-like, as can be seen on the right pane illustrated over here. Furthermore, due to the reinforcement learning part of the surrogate, the agent is able to autonomously learn and improve over the capabilities of the human demonstrator while still retaining the human style. Furthermore, the policies trained with DAPG are also more robust to variations in the environment. We illustrate this by changing the size of the ball to be manipulated and by making the ball into a cube. Note that the uh, agent is not trained on these new instances. We are just ch checking uh, robustness zero shot. We can see that the DAPG policy is able to cope with these variations, whereas the pure reinforcement learning policy is extremely brittle. So in summary, we find that combining reinforcement learning and imitation learning is a very promising approach for real-world learning of diverse skills. I would like to thank all my collaborators and all the institutions involved in this work. In particular, Vikash is a joint first author. Uh, in subsequent work, we have employed similar procedures on the hardware and also learning with direct visual inputs and find these results very promising. Some of these results are actually to be presented at a workshop in RSS, so please come check that out as well. And uh, do come check us out at the poster session. Thank you.